Hello, myself Dr. Anish Purwar. Today I am taking lecture on water requirement. Need for water supply scheme. Water is next to the air provided by Mother Nature for survival of living beings. To assess whether there is living beings in a planet, we try to know whether there is trace of the water or no. If water is available in any form, then only we can think of possibility of existence of living beings. Water may be required for agriculture use, domestic use, community use or for industrial purpose. Hence, for different purposes, we have to know the purpose, then quantity and then quality of the water. For a civilized population and to keep the people healthy, a good water supply scheme is a must. After assessing the requirement of water for different uses of the population, a water supply scheme is to be designed by the engineers which will serve the population with water as per its requirement. It is mandatory for a water supply scheme to supply water which is palatable and free from the defects. Now planning of water supply scheme. In order that a community gets water as per its requirement, it is essential to plan a good water supply scheme. In planning, it is to be seen that sufficient amount of water of required quality is available to the community. Design of a suitable water supply system consists of collection, transportation, treatment and distribution. Distribution system should be planned in a flexible way so that there might be provision for future development and there should be possibility of uninterrupted water supply event during repairs and maintenance. Now financing of the water supply scheme. Water supply has to be done on community basis. Hence financing of water supply scheme has to be done by some agency. When a new work has to be constructed, its capital cost may have to be borrowed. The burden of capital repayment falls on future requirements. Water supply is a welfare scheme, hence revenue collection from users may not be sufficient to pay the loan and maintenance the scheme. In such case, there are two alternatives to use appropriate technology or to obtain some subsidiary or the some grant. Now appropriate technology. Water undertakings throughout the world have initiated financial resources because water supply projects come under welfare schemes. While planning of such schemes, designers should use appropriate technology. Appropriate technology means not so complex technology and not so automated as no one knows how to repair it locally. While designing the work he should keep in mind that he is providing something which the local personnel will be able to operate efficiently. The repair of worn out of defective parts can be done locally. The parts may not have to be imported. The process of water treatment and pumping can be such that it is reliable, easily repairable and at the same time be labor saving. Now a scheme based on the subsidiary. Through government allocation, water supply system is constructed and then through water tax from the consumer, maintenance of the equipment and the staff is done. Loan of water supply schemes are available from different foreign and national sources. UNESCO, WHO, and World Bank are some of the international agencies for water supply schemes, whereas central government and state government are the 
नेशनल एजेंसी नाउ कैटेगरीज ऑफ वाटर रिक्वायरमेंट डोमेस्टिक पर्पज इंस्टीट्यूशनल पर्पज इंडस्ट्रीज पब्लिक एग्रीकल्चर एंड कंपेंसेशन इन रिस्पेक्ट टू द लॉसेस डोमेस्टिक वाटर रिक्वायरमेंट डोमेस्टिक वाटर रिक्वायरमेंट मे बी डिवाइडेड एज इन हाउस रिक्वायरमेंट एंड स्प्रिंकलिंग रिक्वायरमेंट इन हाउस रिक्वायरमेंट इंक्लूड ड्रिंकिंग कुकिंग सैनिटेशन हाउस क्लीनिंग क्लॉथ वॉशिंग एटसेट्रा स्प्रिंकलिंग रिक्वायरमेंट इंक्लूड्स वाटर रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर गार्डन वाटरिंग लॉन स्प्रिंकलिंग और मे बी द कार वॉशिंग एटसेट्रा डोमेस्टिक कंजम्पन अंडर नॉर्मल कंडीशन इन एन इंडियन सिटी एज पर नेशनल बिल्डिंग कोड हैज बीन टेकन एज वन थर्टी फाइव लीटर पर कैपिटा पर डे इट इज रिटर्न ऑल्सो एज द वन थर्टी फाइव एल पी सी डी एल फॉर लीटर पी फॉर पर सी फॉर कैपिटा एंड देन डे सो हेयर डोमेस्टिक वाटर कंजम्पन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फॉर ड्रिंकिंग पर्पज दिस इज द फाइव एल पी सी डी कुकिंग पर्पज फाइव लीटर पर कैपिटा पर डे बाथिंग फिफ्टी फाइव एल पी सी डी वॉशिंग ऑफ क्लॉथ टू ट्वेंटी एल पी सी डी वॉशिंग ऑफ यूटेंसल्स टेन लीटर पर कैपिटा पर डे वॉशिंग एंड क्लीनिंग ऑफ हाउसेज टेन लीटर पर कैपिटा पर डे एंड फ्लशिंग ऑफ लेटरिन एक्सेट्रा दिस इज थर्टी लीटर पर कैपिटा फॉर पर डे फैक्टर अफेक्टिंग पर कैपिटा वाटर रिक्वायरमेंट क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन इन ड्राइड रीजन मोर वाटर इज रिक्वायर्ड दैन कोल्डर प्लेसेज बिकॉज ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंट बाथिंग मोर क्लीनिंग एंड मोर रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ वाटर फॉर गार्डनिंग एटसेट्रा इन हॉट एंड ड्राई क्लाइमेट मोर कंजम्पन ऑफ ड्रिंकिंग वाटर इज ऑल्सो हैपन स्टेटस एंड हैबिट्स ऑफ द रेजिडेंट्स फॉर एफिलेंट क्लास ऑफ पीपल मोर वाटर इज रिक्वायर्ड बिकॉज ऑफ देयर प्रजेंट हैबिट्स एंड मोर सोफिस्टिकेटेड लाइफ स्टाइल फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए हाउस ऑफ रिच पीपल मे हैव बाथिंग टर्स फॉर देयर बाथ वेयर एक्सेसिव अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर मे बी रिक्वायर्ड पर कैपटा इन सम ऑफ द एशियन कंट्रीज टॉयलेट्स आर क्लीन आफ्टर यूजिंग इट बाई पोरिंग बकेट्स ऑफ वाटर इन एडिशन फॉर देयर पर्सनल क्लीनिंग पीपल यूज वाटर दे डू नॉट यूज टॉयलेट पेपर एंड इन सच प्रैक्टिस मोर वाटर इज कंज्यूम साइज एंड टाइप ऑफ द सिटी फॉर लार्ज सिटी पर कैपिटा वाटर रिक्वायरमेंट इज मोर देन ए स्मॉल टाउन लार्ज सिटी हैव सीवर सिस्टम फॉर वेस्ट वाटर डिस्पोजल एंड फॉर दिस केस वाटर रिक्वायरमेंट मे गो एज हाई एज थ्री टाइम्स देन द ओपन ड्रेन सिस्टम ए टाउन मे बी ए स्मॉलर वन बट इफ इट इज एन इंडस्ट्रियल टाउन देन पर कैपिटा डिमांड मे बी मोर देन ए बिग सिटी बिकॉज ऑफ द इनडायरेक्ट यूज ऑफ द वाटर मोड ऑफ वाटर सप्लाई इन कंटिन्यूस सिस्टम वाटर इज सप्लाइड कंटिन्यूसली फॉर ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स वेयर इज इन इंटरमीडिएट सिस्टम वाटर इज सप्लाइड एट पीक डिमांड आवर्स इन कंटिन्यूस सप्लाई वेस्टेज ऑफ वाटर इज देयर थ्रू ओपन एंड क्रैक्ट ज्वाइन वेयर इज इन इंटरमीडिएट सप्लाई पीपुल लीव टैप्स ओपन एंड वैन वाटर सप्लाई इज कंटिन्यू वाटर इज वेस्टेड थ्रू दीज ओपन टेप्स जनरली आउट ऑफ फेयर पीपुल स्टोर मोर अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर देन रिक्वायर्ड एंड वैन वाटर सप्लाई स्टार्टेड कलेक्टेड वाटर इज इन पॉट्स एंड स्मार्ट टैंक्स आर थ्रोन इन ड्रेन एंड अगेन रिफिलिंग इज द डन सो देर इज दाटर वेस्टेज पॉलिसी फॉर द वाटर टैक्स कलेक्शन वाटर टैक्स मे बी कलेक्टेड बाई नोइंग अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर कंज्यूम दिस इंफॉर्मेशन इज ऑप्टेन बाई प्रोवाइडिंग वाटर मीटर्स एट प्रिमिस ऑफ द कंज्यूमर्स वाटर टैक्स इज लेविड ऑन कंज्यूमर्स एज पर असेसमेंट ऑल्सो म्यूनिसपल और वाटर सप्लाई एजेंसी असेस द साइज एंड क्वालिटी ऑफ हाउस एंड बेस्ड ऑन सम बेसिक कंजम्पन प्रिंसिपल वाटर टैक्स 
assets. In some cases, water tax is levied on flat rate, and in such case, more consumption and wastage of water is happen. Institutional water requirement. A well-developed city or town has hospitals, schools, restaurants, hotels, railway stations, bus terminals, and offices of different departments. To cater to need for water of these establishments, consideration has to be given for water requirements of these units while planning for water supply system of a town or city. On an average, additional per capita demand for these units may be taken as 25 liters per head per day or we can say 25 liters per capita per day to 60 liters per capita per day depending on the towns or, or the city. So here the water requirement of the institutions, schools with day scholars only requirement of the water is 45 liter per capita per day for the residential restaurant and hotels it is a for residents it is 135 liter per uh, capita per day the restaurant 60 if this is the uh, per seat it is counted in seat hotels 160 to 200 per bed in hospitals if hospital is less than 100 bed then requirement is 300 LCPD for bed more than 100 this is 450 LCPD if staff quarters is available somewhere then requirement 135 LCPD officers are living there so uh, this is the 45 LCPD and cinema halls it is the 15 liter per capita per day industrial water requirements Factors governing industrial water requirement depends on several factors such as type of industry, size of industry and number of industries for a particular water supply scheme. A case may be there in which size of the industry is of such a giant one that water supply scheme has to be planned for that particular industry. Water requirement for a few industries located in a town may be taken around 60 liter per head per day but the demand may go as high as 500 liter per capita per day depending on the type of the industry so here the some uh, water requirement of some common industries uh, for example automobiles there is consumption of the 12 1 um, like uh, 12000 to 40000 liters per vehicle in bakery industry, the water requirement is 2000 liters per ton of the product. Like the chemicals where plastic work is going on, 23,000 liter to 80,000 liters per ton of the product. In concrete product, this is 1000 liters per ton. In food processing industries, 8000 to 40,000 liters per ton of the product. So like the there are more or more or um, more industries are available so uh, uh, this water requirement is based on the this industry type requirement for public use the water requirement for traffic terminals such as railway stations bus stations harbors airport etc include provisions for waiting rooms and waiting halls for retiring rooms additional provisions are to be done Estimation of number of persons were done by the average number of passengers handled by the station daily. Consideration should also be given for staff and vendors likely to use the facilities. So here the data, water supply requirement for traffic terminals and station, two types of facility with bathing facilities or without bathing facilities. So if there are the uh, junctions, for example, we are taking the uh, junction stations and intermediate station where mail or express stoppage is provided. So for bathing facilities, the consumption of uh, water requirement is a 70 liters per capita per day. And if bathing facility is not provided, then water requirement is a 45 liters per capita per day. So like that, the international domestic airports water requirement 70 liter per capita per day for the with the bathing facilities and in both cases we can say in that case because 
uh, water uh, requirement is more in, in there and uh, we can say there is one or type of facilities only available without water without bathing facilities requirement for firefighting with increase in density of population and at a place where hazardous activities are there chances of fire are more for hazardous industries such as explosive factories etc special arrangement are made for the fire fighting for towns and cities in general arrangement of additional water supply is done for fire fighting when fire breaks out in the locality fire hydrants are generally provided with the water means at a distance of around 150 meter apart fire fighting pumps are connected into them as soon as fire breaks out in the locality since pumps throw water on the fire at a very high pressure the minimum water pressure available at fire hydrant should be around 1.5 kg per cm square and this pressure should be available around 4 to 5 hours for constant use of the fire hydrant due to high risk buildings in city a special fire arrangement has to be provided as per by laws of the locality depending upon the construction location and occupancy it is necessary to have hydrant protection in building over 15 meter in height in building over 60 meter in height a special pressure reducing and a special pump arrangement has to be done for buildings up to 68 meters in height each wet hydrant installation has to be fed by a pump related to the deliver 2275 liters per minute the pump shall draw water from the storage tank which shall have an effective capacity not less than 2 lakh liters for cities having population more than 50000 water requirement in milli in meter cube is computed by the equation q is equal to 100 into root p where q is the water required and p is the population in thousand rate of fire demand is calculated by kuchling's formula which gives amount of water required in liters per minute so q is equal to 3182 into root p where q is amount of water requirement in liter per minute and p is population in thousand general uses of water general or public use may comprise water for fountains parks government buildings and their grounds etc of course supplied free of charge it varies from nil to around 100 liter per head per day so this is all about the water requirement part 1 thank you